Putin has like respect for Adib though because he had the chance to be prime minister and I felt as if okay he was talking with Macron a lot about trying to actually reform the system but then when he wanted to implement some of his methods on creating the new ministry they already they all started with the usual bullshit I want this I want that and I actually have respect for him to, for being like okay I'm not gonna bow down to this and I'm not gonna take part in this and he just resigned because so many other people in his place would have been like they would have seen the lust for power and they would have given in to having power at any cost and he had the dignity at least to resign because he didn't want anything to do with this. Well, I mean, I'm going to put a caveat into what you just said. Um, what you said makes sense if you if that is the narrative. Yeah. But that's not the full narrative. Uh, Adib would have lost everything if he became PM. He currently is one of the highest paid diplomats in the world. He has five kids. Young kids. And he was living a completely unbothered life and doing what he needed to do, the dances he needed to do with the oligarchy, and was out of people's radar. If he was going to be PM under those circumstances, that he would have lost that salary forever. He would have never been diplomat again. He, he would have failed at the task of being PM because... Obviously, obviously. And that is a piece of information that was actually given to him. So why did he accept in the first place? Because though? he didn't understand that. He didn't think he thought he could go back to his job. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you think that's the main reason as to why he? Resigned? I am sure that's the main reason. Oh, wow. no so way. he just misunderstood the. <laughs> no, no, I, I wouldn't say misunderstood, but well, actually, maybe misunderstood because I know that he came very uninformed. Yeah. Because and I know that he came. He came knowing he is completely inexperienced, but he was also being. Uh, advised by completely mm. inexperienced people. Because we the know these people, but I have name, like I have the names. I I I know exactly how it went. Um, the wide narrative that was being reported, like the way that I formulated my opinion, was based on the wide narrative that was being reported that the Shia duopoly did not let him take the ministry. That's part of the story, yeah, and that's the only thing that. But I that, got, but that so. was his escape clause of yeah. being unscathed. Like yeah. you, you don't have said anyone, man. Like go back to your don't have said anybody and you came a little bit you did a little bit of a twirl in the limelight you got a little bit stressed out you stressed people out then you left yeah. like it's so it's actually yeah. i was a bit it, mis it, this was the best possible yeah. case scenario for yeah. a guy like him yeah. you come you take some unwarranted credit even though he wasn't looking for it but mm. you take some unwarranted credit you you don't get your like he didn't want to get his hands dirty knowing that you could never wash your hands you could never wash your hands for the rest of your life and no but not because not because i am wise and i'm no, all knowing yeah, and yeah. you know i i i have this white beard of a sage and i know <laughs>